right to the bank all the way across there. Sonny Miller grew up here in Graham, Texas. His wife and one-year-old have already fled their home, but he wants to stay. It's my home. I live here. This is not a weekend place for me. Wildfires reached 70 to 80 feet in this recreational area called Possum Kingdom Lake, just 75 miles west of Dallas. Ground zero today for this inferno. The flames destroyed 50 homes, charring as much as 120,000 acres and doubling in size overnight. We have wildfires, you know, or, you know, every other year that we consider big, but this one out here is 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 uh, is catastrophic. Sheriff Brian Wells and tells us he fires. hasn't slept in days because of the fire. All we can do is feel helpless and write their numbers down and their information. And if the home does burn, we know where they were. All of this black area around me was farmland that's been scorched by the fire. And look at the fuel for this fire, all of this dry brush and grass. More than half of the state of Texas is in extreme drought. It's the worst drought here in 44 years. Hundreds of firefighters are battling all over Texas, from the air and the ground. But high temperatures and strong winds are whipping up the flames. It can move about 30 miles per hour. I mean, it's covering several miles within several minutes. There's a new threat tonight in the city of Palo Pinto, just about 45 minutes from here, where they're even evacuating prisoners from the local jail. It's an area where around 600 homes are in danger. Katie? Seth Doan reporting from Graham, Texas tonight. Thank you, Seth.